boron uh, is a nice, uh, nice mineral to see on the testosterone boosting scale, uh, as opposed to the usual crazy herbs from crazy parts of the world that everyone gets excited about and then they do nothing for your testosterone. Uh, boron is an everyday micronutrient that's in your diet. In fact, uh, it's a mineral and um, you get just enough of it in your diet to uh, satisfy most of your boron requirements, but uh, testosterone boosting is a different kettle of fish and often we find that just supplementing a little bit more of something might help us. Now, boron's one of those one of those supplements. It doesn't take much. Science, the scientific research that's looking into it says between sort of five milligrams and 10 milligrams. So that's, uh, if you know anything about supplements, then that's not a lot of powder at all. So that can fit snugly in the pill alongside other testosterone boosters or uh, libido enhancers or even muscle, muscle uh, supplements. Uh, so that's a good thing, positive thing. And um, the way it works, or at least I think the, the way they think it works at the moment is by inhibiting um, the sex hormone binding globulin, which is a, a mouthful to say the least, but is one of the, it's one of the problems, as it were, for, for testosterone or free testosterone levels. So as we get older as men, um, and you know, anybody uh, that has testosterone in the system, so it doesn't matter what age or what gender you are, uh, SHBG, which is sex, sex hormone binding globul globulin, is a protein which uh, actually uh, binds to testosterone and, and renders it inert. So if it's in your floating around your blood, bloodstream, the testosterone, then SHBG comes along and actually binds to it and sort of renders it useless. Now, that has some useful effect as well in, in terms of regulating the amount of testosterone that is in your system. Um, but somewhere along the line, evolution, call it what you may, uh, cocked up a bit and perhaps made that happen a bit too early, especially for people who are looking for um, performance enhancement and stuff like that from their body, you know, muscle growth uh, and all the other joys and benefits that come from high testosterone levels or optimized testosterone levels, I should say. So uh, scientifically, uh, from a scientific standpoint, point, boron looks as if it actually inhibits that protein, uh, thus allowing more free testosterone to roam around your blood and uh, do its thing, which is, you know, hundreds and hundreds of benefits of testosterone, but the sort of macro benefits are, are pretty obvious, you know, there's debate as to how exactly how much boosted levels of testosterone impact your muscle growth and strength, but we'll leave that one there as a as a probability. We'll also say you know sexual libido, uh, drive, fat fat burning capabilities, concentration it has cognitive effects as well as physical effects. It has sexual effects. It has you know health effects in general. Low testosterone uh, is a bad thing. So. Take a look at Boron uh, article and see what you think. The dosage is good, seems to be safe enough. Um, although there is obviously a level of, of uh, toxicity with Boron, but it's uh, it's quite a lot more than the recommended dosage. I think it's uh, sort of in the thousand times more uh, than your dosage. So take a look at that. Take a look at the conclusion as well right at the end there. It talks about estrogen a little bit, but it's interesting because boron is, you know, a nutrient that you find in your food, but just taking a little bit more and it might boost your testosterone levels more so than any of these freakish uh, bullshit herbs might.